All right, what is going on, my dude? It's time to talk about the hood buff details. I feel like we've already made this video before. Uh, we're gonna make it again, like six months later. So, uh, the hood has been updated in Marvel Contest of Champions, again. So, um, good news for a lot of people. For people who were um, big fans of the hood buff, very similar. For people who weren't fans of the buff, uh, he's also very similar to how he was in the past. It's a nice blend of the two. So of course, as always, we highlighted everything that we need to know. We're gonna go through it. Let's start with About the Hood. Always fascinated with superhumans, young petty thief Parker Robbins used his gains to help his family, including his ailing mother. When a burglary took an unexpected turn, Parker found himself in possession of a pair of mystical boots and cloak. Struggling to understand the supernatural items, he learned they granted him limited powers, including invisibility and the ability to walk on air. Dubbed the Hood by the police, Parker soon found himself forced down a darker path, using his newfound powers to start his own criminal empire to ensure the safety of his family. What a good dude, am I right? Uh, so, Face toss and abilities, his prestige is trash, all right? Don't rank this guy for prestige. Don't give him stones for prestige. Absolute trash. Pretty, pretty bad. Very, very bad. Um, basic abil uh, abilities, invisibility, stagger, shock, bleed, all right? The Hood's new kit makes him the mystical master of mists. His new hex pistols mechanic gives him a totally new avenue to damage, and an upgrade to his mist lets you reliably deal with special attacks if used correctly. Only if used correctly, though. More damage and more reliability utility has Hood shining in a whole new light. Strengths. Miss. With Hood's update, he has his miss more consistently. Use this to deal with some hard to dodge special attacks and find more openings on your opponent. Stagger. Hood has near constant uptime on his stagger, letting him deal with tons of buff with ease. Nice. Weaknesses. Nullify. Kind of. Hood's availability is now a buff. Be careful with fighting against anything that will remove your buffs. Alright, fair enough, right? So, Hex Pistols, let's talk about it. Loaded Bullets, 28. Max Loaded Bullets, 42. The Hood's Bullets, they persist from fight to fight within a quest. Nullify a buff, you load two bullets. Make the opponent miss while invisible, you load one bullet when the invisibility ends based on the amount of times that you miss, I believe, or it's just one. Uh, I, would, I would guess it's the amount of times that you do miss, right? Um... Hex pistols on medium attacks and the special too. 100% chance to fire a bullet and inflict a stacking hex lasting 12 seconds. Each hex deals a burst of 1150 energy damage when it expires and is refreshed when a new hex is gained. Okay? Now keep in mind, we're going to jump down real quick to the heavy attacks. Refresh the duration of all personal bleed and fate seal effects. What is applied on the opponent causes all hexes to aspire, expire immediately with plus 100% potency. So if you stack up a bunch of these things and you use the heavy attack, boom, there you go. Nice big damage. Dash back and hold block. 100% chance to go invisible for 8 seconds. When ending, invisibility goes on cooldown for 6 seconds while active. Hood's attack gains plus 592 critical damage rating and ignores 75% armor rating and block proficiency. While active, incoming attacks have a 120% chance to miss, and each time the opponent misses an attack, this miss chance is decreased by a flat 20% until the invisibility ends. So you activate invisibility, you get two free misses, okay? Two misses. So that means you can back up, phase, intercept, or go to intercept with a wild intercept, right? And you can do that two times. Or you can, like, for example, let's say there's a war machine going, right? War Machine throws his special two. It's two hits. He jumps at you, one hit, pew, bullets the second hit. Both of those, it's gonna go right through that invisibility phase. So lots of different stuff you can do with that. Pretty interesting for sure. Um, but yeah, pair this with the special two to have consistent uptime on the invisibility. Critical hits, 100% chance to inflict a non-stacking stagger passive lasting five seconds. When a staggered opponent gains a buff, that buff and all buffs triggered at the same time are nullified. Very nice. When this stagger ends, it inflicts 345 direct damage on the opponent and heals the hood for a matching amount. Now, very, very important to note, when the hood was released for like the day that he was released, I think it was less than a day even, I don't even remember how long it was. Um, so he was released and he was bugged. He was pretty much bugged to hell and he was gaining so much lifesteal, all right? That wasn't supposed to happen. It was never fixed and he was reverted back to who he was before it could be fixed. So it's not gonna be like that this time. You're gonna gain a little bit amount of, of lifesteal, okay? And it's not going to be as much as it was when it was bugged. Just keep that in mind. So that wasn't nerfed. It's how it's supposed to be. That would have been fixed uh, eventually anyway. Maybe. Right? Heavy attacks. Refresh the duration of all personal bleed and fate seal effects that is applied to the opponent. Causes all hex to expire immediately with plus 100% potency. So, special one. Oof. Eldritch Arc. Let's go with that. 
100% chance to inflict a shock debuff causing 3,451 energy damage over 7.5 seconds. If this shock expires after lasting its full duration, 100% chance to inflict a stun debuff lasting 3 whole seconds. Not too bad. Special 2. Occult Onslaught. 100% chance to apply a Fate Seal on the opponent, nullifying all buffs and prevents any new buffs from activating for 6.5 seconds. Hallelujah, the Hex is back, the Fate Seal is back, alright? While this Fate Seal is active, the opponent's ability accuracy is reduced by 65%. That's actually pretty darn good, man, especially when you uh, look at the Heavy Attack. The Heavy Attack refreshes all Fate Seal effects on Hood. This might be like this right now, I'm not 100% sure, but that's pretty much consistent uptime on 65% ability accuracy reduction, flat ability accuracy reduction on the opponent. That's really darn good, man. So you can kind of just uh, parry heavy the entire fight after the special two, and you'll never see a buff again on the opponent, which is kind of interesting, man. And yeah, that's that's really, and also, but like not even, man, because um, if your hood is awakened, you're gonna be stealing power and whatnot, and you can just uh, keep spamming that special too as well. So um, yeah, you're pretty, and also don't forget the staggers and every like, you know, crit medium as well and everything else. So you're gonna be doing a decent bit of damage while invisible pretty much the entire fight. And you're not gonna be able to see any buffs on the opponent ever pretty much. So um, yeah, buffs, don't even worry about it, man. Uh, hood's definitely gonna be dealing with buffs possibly like one of the best in the game for dealing with buffs um so yeah that's really really cool okay uh special three dark pack so this is interesting right here plus 1700 attack rating for each full bar of power the opponent has 100 percent chance to inflict a bleed dealing 23 31 direct damage over eight seconds so i think it'd be nice and safe to throw this okay um when they're like just above two bars of power so the end underneath one bar of power right so the thing is with his sig ability down here the hood becomes immune to all stun effects additionally firing a bullet while invisible has a 45 percent chance to steal 10 percent of the opponent's power getting twice that amount in the process that's all well and good but it's not a 100 percent chance if there was a 100 percent chance while they were at three bars of power then i'd say push them three bars of power use your special three get almost 6,000 attack rating get a really 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 big bleed on the opponent and then continually parry heavy and parry heavy and keep refreshing it for the entire fight however um, uh, only a 45% chance to steal that power is too risky. So I'd say get to right at like literally right at two bars of power, use it, get a nice big nasty bleed on the opponent, bait out that special two if you can, right? And then parry heavy for the rest of the fight, if you can. Could be an interesting way to go about it. Seems like a really nice consistent heavy darn bleed, man, with all that attack rating. But who knows? I could be wrong. We'll have to see. We'll have to see it in practicality. Um, synergy bonuses, nothing new and crazy here. With Dormammu, this is always nice. 20% chance to revive at 10% health on receiving a knockdown blow. All right, with Joe Fix it and Kingpin, just some, you know, random crap. Crit rating, perfect block chance, health rating. That's actually, it's a lot of stuff, actually. That's actually not bad. Um, Punisher, Voodoo, Tiger, Doctor Strange, some crit rating, Loki, Iron Patriot, Tarax, and Taskmaster, perfect block chance, not the hero. This one's actually kind of good. Modak, Mole Man, Mysterio, and Mojo, knocking the opponent down, loads three bullets, not bad. And but the best villain, Vulture, Ronin, King Root, Abomination. Uh, invisibility starting miss chance is 140% instead of the normal 120%. So that gives you guaranteed three misses every single time you activate invisibility, which is really, really nice. Um, this is interesting here. Not the hero, but the best villain. All right, cool. These should be heroes because it says not the hero, but the best villain. So these should be four heroes and these should be four villains. So kabam. Uh, you know how to contact me for any, you know, job offers and whatnot. I, uh, I'm always, I'm always down. I'm always down to come up with cool ideas like that for the future. Um, so yeah, guys, that's the, uh, the hood buff. I'm 99.99% .99 sure no matter what, this one's sticking around this time. So if you don't like it, uh-oh. Um, but it's not leaving because they spent six months redoing this. I can't imagine it leaves. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's a nice improvement. I think it's a nice melge of old hood and new hood, right? So I think it's gonna be cool. Um, personally, reading through this, I have a six star rank two SIG 20 hood. I have a Mystic T5CC. I am considering taking him to rank three if I do like him. Um, I do think he has a nice kit. I think he has some stuff going on. The utility looks really, really nice. We'll have to see what the damage looks like. Otherwise, I might uh, actually hold off for Diablo, man. What a crazy game we're playing right now but anyway my dudes that's gonna be it for this little buff breakdown video if you enjoyed it drop your boy a big old like comment what you think about the hood buff details 2.0 in the comment section below and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any buffed hood gameplay coming to you very very soon i'll be seeing you around